Hi everybody, this is Ian Lamont, founder of i30 Media Corporation and author of the Lee Media book blog and video channel available from leemedia.org. Today I'm going to be talking about getting rid of a shipping service from your Shopify store. And uh, before I get started with this, you are responsible for following Shopify's terms as well as the terms of the shipping services that you're using. It's possible for you to lose money if you do things wrong or if you don't uh, estimate your risk properly. So do this at your own risk. So here we are on the Shopify app. This is the iOS version and I think the Android version looks quite similar. And basically where you wanna be is on the store tab. So on the very bottom of the screen, there's a tab that says store, it even looks like a little storefront. So tap that so, and you should see something like this. Then what you wanna do is you wanna tap settings in the middle of the screen. You'll come to this particular uh, menu, tap shipping and delivery. And as I've mentioned in other videos and blog posts, uh, managing shipping is one of the most difficult things about Shopify. And actually, for that matter, uh, Amazon Seller Central, too. I've always found it to be a headache. It's, it's kind of a maze of different options. Some things aren't really clear how you set things up. Uh, but when you come to this particular page, what you want to do is just tap on the, on the uh, link or button that says Manage Rates. And you'll come to this particular page. Like here's, a, here's an example of the confusion that Shopify adds. When you come to the general shipping page, instead of showing you shipping options, it shows you products. And this, is, this should be at the bottom of the page or even not visible as far as I'm concerned. What you wanna do if you wanna get rid of one of the shipping services that you've offered before, first of all, find out if you're dealing with, you know, what, what shipping zone you're dealing with. So I set up two shipping zones. One is USA where I'm based. The other one is rest of world, R-O-W. And what, I've, what I have here is you can see I have two shipping services. Um, UPS, that's a private service. That's, those are the people that drive around the brown trucks. And then USPS, that's a U.S. postal service. And I have two services with them. So I have three services with UPS and two services with um, USPS, the postal service. What I want to do is I want to, let's say I just want to get rid of certain services with UPS. So one thing with the Shopify app, at least for the phone that I have, it doesn't show the edit for this. And you may come here and think, how do I change things? You can't change it by going up or down. You actually have to kind of uh, drag to the right a little bit. And then you'll see this little menu. It's actually, the, you see the three dots right there next to three services? You want to tap that. It's kind of hard to see, but just tap that. Edit rate or delete. So if I wanted to delete everything, I just tap delete. But what I want to do is I want to edit the rates. So it brings up the UPS options that I've selected. So let's say that I no longer want to offer... Um, UPS three-day select because that requires, you know, me rushing to the UPS store by 2 p.m. on on a, on a on a weekday. So I don't want to do that. So I just deselected that three-day select, and then I cl click uh, tap done. At the top of the screen, tap save. It's kind of going through it. Profile updated, and you can see that now UPS only has two services available. Now, if I wanted to go one step further and just actually get rid of UPS, maybe I've had a bad experience with them. Maybe they're no longer servicing my area or I've moved to an area where they're no longer servicing. I would just tap that little menu again, the more options menu. That's the three dots and, and tap delete. Tap save. Profile updated. That means you are done. For more information on how to get the most out of Shopify, uh, Amazon Seller Central, Amazon Advertising, even using WordPress and WooCommerce, I've created all these videos and blog posts available on leemedia.org. Just go to leemedia.org, tap the uh, menu or the navigation, and then select blog or video. Uh, also, if you like this video, please take a moment to, to um, like it or follow me on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching.